Hello everyone. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to start off by saying that I did a massive oopsie. I was encoding the footage for the prologue and because the disk space was running out, I was going through and deleting footage without realizing that I was deleting the footage for the beginning of chapter one as well as the audio I had recorded for chapter one. So yeah, that's nice. Thankfully, there's a wonderful channel on YouTube called Solid Snack. She is in the process of doing a no commentary run of the Thousand Year Door for Switch. So I'm just gonna borrow some of her footage. Don't worry, it says in her channel description that she allows free use of her footage so long as one gives credit. Full credit to her, go subscribe to her. I'll put a card in the corner. I'll put a link to her channel in the description. Go give her a sub because she's earned it. She really saved my bacon on this one. And I'm sending massive love to her for really just helping me out without even realizing it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Hopefully this won't happen again. And from now on, all footage will be recorded by me. I just wanted to do this so the walkthrough wouldn't feel incomplete. With that said, let's get into it. Chapter 1. Castle and Dragon. Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hide. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure! This is completely awesome. Alrighty. Ooh, cutscene. Scary. So scary. Whoa, what's that? I've never seen anything like a humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go. Again. If memory serves, she said something about how we were so early on our journey and already there's intrigue. You know, some changes were apparently just to get the game closer to the Japanese script. So, you know, some changes might not ostensibly make any sense. Welcome, travelers! Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalberg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. Yepity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. It's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? Green Boots are smarter than Red Boots, right? Or am I getting that in reverse? No, no, Red Boots are the smart ones, that's right. I, I think Red Boots are the ones that walk off cliffs, right? As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. A pink house? It sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. See, there's no need for gender stereotyping. The mayor likes the pink house. He's a dude. Goombella's a girl. Not her thing. Does he say anything else? Thank you. He seems like a friendly little Koopa. Petalburg Koopa. He seems sort of like the spokesperson for this town. Where's this guy thinking of running for mayor? He must be more ambitious than he looks. Interesting. <laughs> Top of the morning. Tis I, Babulber. I'm as happy as I can be, why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. That's my bulber. Doesn't it kinda weird you out to see a fl talking flower? I mean, where's his head? Is it the flower part or the bulb part? Again, Goombella with the mind-blowing existential questions. Though I find that rather ironic coming from a talking mushroom, no offense. Oh, Hotel shit lives at the top of that old castle behind this hummock in Petal Meadows. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. I do not remember them making it as explicit that Hotel was a girl in the original. I thought that was sort of a running joke in the original that, you know, she's, it, it, they didn't really say what her gender was and then later there's sort of a reveal. I don't, I probably won't remember to point that out. We'll see. I am General Wright. I am a bob -omb, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Damn, poor guy. 
It's General White the Bomb. I guess White the Bombs are pretty rare. Yeah, I can't think of another one off the top of my head. He has a cool mustache, too. It might even give your lip fuzz a run for its money. All right, Goombella. That is not appropriate. That is not cool. Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in here is a one-of-a-kind collectible. This guy's apparently a total diehard Peach fan. He even collects Peach merchandise. He has posters and merch displayed everywhere. Boy, get a life, know what I mean? Hey, Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of plush Peach dolls, too. Well, you know, he does have his own sort of obsession with the princess. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games for lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. A lot of people were wondering what he was going to say in the remake. People were wondering if he was going to specifically this time reference, you know, three houses or engage. Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? No, 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 no. Not you, monsieur de la moustache. I'm speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you, mon petit chou. Did you hear me, beautiful? Abandon this dollar and come away with me. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the chomp. She said bozo the dork originally. I shall retreat for now. If you'll change your mind, come find me. What whole sleaze? Let's go somewhere else, Mario. She could have easily called him an Elvis wannabe. Ew! What's with this guy, huh? It grosses me out just being near this weirdo. Alright, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet talk everybody. There! No more! Alright, alright, fair enough, Kumbella. If you feel uncomfortable, you're well within your right to feel as such. Village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hook tail, she's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Another bulb. Interesting observation there, Gumbella. Boy, the mayor has been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried since the old guy forgets his, my name from time to time. Damn, poor guy. Always seems to be worried about something. It's weird too, because the rest of this town is so laid back. You know, well, you gotta have your quintessential warrior in a community of laid back. Hippies. Hey, hey, hey! It's us, the Happy Wanderers, the, tra the Traveling Sisters 3. We are the Traveling Sisters 3, Traveling Sisters 3, are we? I'll come up with better voices for them. Hmm, something tells me they'll be returning. I basically gave it away by saying I'd come up with better voices for them. Anyway. Well, hello there. My name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, that those overalls, and and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hook tail. Oh, if only Koop for as brave as you. Damn. That's Koopy Koo, a local pedal burger. She seems to be Koop's girlfriend. Gosh, she's really cute. She has a good head on her shoulders. So yeah, she is a cute Koopa, isn't she? Thing is, because she's smart, she kind of mothers Koops a little bit. I guess it's a complicated relationship, but then again, what relationship is it? Mario can relate! Um, hi there, folks. Did you come to this village to look for the treasure of Hooktail Castle? Well, that Hooktail is one tough cookie. That's Koops from Petalburg. He's got confidence issues. He's, a uh, cringer, you know? But he's definitely got a serious interest in Hooktail. I wonder why. Well, I think we have a pretty good idea. Anything up here? Portrait of an older Koopa. Interesting. Normal attacks are completely useless against it. Fire attacks are also useless. The very idea freaks me out. Hmm. Oh, alright. So yeah, they're giving you a little hint as to something you should do before you head out. Just a regular toad. But he leads a secret life as president of the Luigi fan club. Well, what if I told you I am, in fact, the flesh and blood of Luigi? 
I think that term would work here, right? For brothers, wouldn't that work too? I mean, I know people will say that about somebody's children, but I think that term would work here, right? For brothers, wouldn't that work too? I mean, I know people will say that about somebody's children, but... in here. Hmm. I don't know. I just got here. An old man Scoo two villages over. Oh, no. And Coops, who lives next door, his father went off the Battle Hotel ages ago. He's been a missing person. No way, that's not right. A missing Coop ever since. Oh, well, that's sad. Toasty. Ha, 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 ha. Another toad pun. Seems really huffy about something. She sure does keep a straight face, though. I guess she's a pretty tough cookie. Oh, good for her. You know, people underestimate the toad. Oh, let's tattle this guy. Gatekeeper Pedalberg. Totally run for cover if real monsters ever did show up here. Well, you know, our gatekeeper boy from Fodlin would be ashamed of him if that was the case. Croup. <coughs> Croup, the mayor of Pedalberg. He just babbles whether he's al alone or not. I just can't tell if he's really senile or if he's just working that angle, you know? Hmm, interesting. Uh, what's that? Come on there. Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know. You're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. Go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait. You folks looking for the crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. Because you wouldn't let me speak, idiot. Um, wait. What did I hear about those thing things again? Aha! Got it! Hooktail! Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's got- she's this enormous, ornery dragon. I eat folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Of course. Brutal flyby snackings. You reckless fools. I mean, you gallant heroes. You got it. Oh, sounds promising. Well, if you can get rid of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. What's... Wait, what's that I hear? You'll set no reward? What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yeah, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy, hmm? Huh? That's a fine name. Yeah, that's a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice dark bros. Now, listen up. Ah, oh boy. Secret pipe that's located in Petal Meadows. Sunstone and the Moonstone. They're not gonna get sued, don't worry. It's still Nintendo. Gotta get past Schwant Fortress. We walp that hooktail monster. Got it, you old fogey. So, you can see those photos he was talking about of him with the misses. Some stone monsters live at Schwant Fortress up ahead. Or so we fear. This gate is here to keep them out. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. You got it, my friends. Um, excuse me. Er, uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? M my name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Yes? Um... Oh, just forget it. Just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good, goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think's going on inside that guy's shell? I don't really want to know, Gumbella. I really don't want to know. Saved. Excellent. This is Shawank Fortress proper. Suspicious statue, I'm pretty sure that's a thwomp bust. Hey, I just remember something I read about this place in a book. Whenever the villagers were confronted with a monster, they'd hide in this fortress. Interesting, yeah. This is a little bit of history everywhere you look, huh, Mario? Yeah, absolutely. That's a positive attitude. I'm a history major, so I, I can relate. Got bachelor's in history. Mmm, mmm, hoo ha ha. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You want the sun and moonstones, and if that's the case, you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through toward the stone's rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate, and by terrible, I mean awful. Mmm, hmm, hoo ha ha. You're in for it now. You'll see why I'm doing this voice in a second. I love how it's not just a paper set, there's also puzzle pieces and such. 
Hey, hey, it's that time again. Welcome, everyone, to the 65th Trivia Quiz Off. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win. But get three wrong, and you'll suffer. Now, for the first question, what's hidden in Schwank Fortress? Oh, that's easy as Sun and Moonstones. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Excellent. Ah, that's correct! That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. Oh, the question two. What do one mushroom and one fire flower cost at the shop in Bettelberg? Total. Let's see. Alright. I know from the last time I played, sorry, that it's not ten coins. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor of Fettelberg? Koopa Koot. I could see Paper Mario fans who played the first game before this one going with Koopa Koot because there's a very similar character in the original game by that name. Arg, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here, much harder. Prepare yourself. Tell me now, where's the crystal star? Rogueport, Hotel Castle, Toad Town, or Petalburg. Well, you know, I think it's been pretty explicit that this has been Hotel Castle. I am sure. I should do an impression of Mr. Beast as a voice thing, but oh well. I'll, maybe I'll use Jimmy's voice for something else. Shout out to Mr. Beast, go subscribe. He's pretty cool. No, Arg, that, that's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. So, very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through. Stupid rules. Hmm. So now he's gonna pout, but we can be on our way. Swamp Fortress sub level. Multi-balance badge, that's very helpful. Attack multiple foes in the order with properly executed action commands. Multi-balance, multi-balance. Down pat, motherfuckers. All right, let's tell all these guys real quick. So yes, these are fuzzies. I believe they were introduced in Super Mario World. I know that I played Super Mario World after this and they were another aspect of the game that I had seen first in the Thousand Year Door. So yeah, it's good to see them again and good to see also that they basically kept their same design even through paper form and the other mainline games they're in. I mean, ew, doesn't that just sound totally gross? They suck your HP. That's our whole little shtick. Timing is pretty hard to master, so uh, practice up. These things really suck. HP. Ah, I'll get it down eventually. Still doing pretty good.
Finish him off, Cambella. Excellent. Apologies if my commentary is a little redundant. I probably need to work on that. Start taking note of the things I've said before and not keep repeating them. Ah. Oh well. Hmm. Alright then. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we're going to level up again before Hooktail Castle, so it looks like we're well on track to my prediction being vindicated. Oh, we have the Moonstone. My favorite of the two Pokemon titles. Oh, nah! Beautiful. Here. I think we're probably good to just attack without healing Mario just yet. Just don't want to die to a bunch of random fuzzies. Oh, and we're going to get a shot at the bingo. Excellent. Not so excellent as me losing HP. Ah, for fuck's sake! Why can't I get this down? All right. In my defense, she said it's hard. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Alright. Let's finish him off real quick. Ah! Oh, well. I'll get it eventually. You'll see it. That would have refilled our health, I assume. I think that's a fair assumption. Could've used that, but, eh, well. Play the hand you're dealt. Frock. Gotcha. Ah! Oh well. Gumbella, you better get this guy, or we're kind of in trouble. Gotcha! All right, excellent. Ah, well. Battle's almost over anyway. Bonk him so I don't have to worry about the timing. And then Gumbella can just do what she does best, aside from paddling. And being otherwise awesome. So cool. Ah, thank you, game. You knew exactly what I needed. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Let's just use that mushroom right now. We got plenty, anyway. Besides, there are better mushrooms you'll find in the game, anyway, so it's not like you really want to save those up for the whole game. The ultra shrooms are coming to mind. I stalk up on life shrooms, too, when I get a chance. You'll see what those are later. Makes me moist. I think I'm gonna totally barf.
So what have you guys been watching recently? I suppose I should make conversation since not so much is happening. Like I said, I've been watching YouTube and Slasher, Arrow, The Flash. I've been watching a lot of cartoons recently, like the original X-Men the Animated Series, Batman the Animated Series, the Looney Tunes show. Let's see, what else? What else? Beast Wars, the original reboot. I mean, they were the original series called Reboot. And I, I didn't watch that as a kid. I'm catching up on it now. And same with Beast Wars. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have wasted the. Ah, yeah, I really should not have wasted the FP on that. But oh well. These fuzzies are quickly, as cute as they are, quickly becoming my least favorite enemies in the game. Kind of remind me of a black cat I once had. He was basically like a black ball, like those things. We called him Shitty Kitty. Trust me, he deserved it. Yeah, he was a good boy, though, in the end. I, I miss him. Gotcha. All right, I'm finally starting to get that down. Great. One more turn, this is it. And we should level up after this. Excellent. You know, I was just thinking... I'm not sure if I ever actually... Did I ever actually upgrade my health? Like, haven't I been at 10 HP since the beginning of the game? Let's just do that for now. Why not? That's probably what I need to be focusing on anyway. Great. Perfect timing for what's about to come. I'm probably an idiot for doing this, but I'm going to attempt to multi-bounce again. Oh, yeah. Even though that's a Bowser head, you're going to want him to throw that. Because that's actually an item. Why is it Bowser's head? Don't ask me. I always thought it looked kind of cool, though, the blue Bowser's head. Excellent. Most excellent. And if we can block him, no damage. Great. I love how they added that to the remix. That said, I'm actually... Let's see. Yeah, I'm actually... I think, I think I'm going to... I, I was gonna switch back to Nostalgic Tunes. Ah, uh, there's a... Look, well, yeah, actually, let's do that, because... There is a certain song that we've heard, and there in the remakes version, but I don't think we've heard the original, original version of a song that's coming up. You'll see what I'm talking about. Whee, Orc! Hey, you suspicious types! This is our place, and coming in here is rude, rude, rude! Sorry, suckers! If you want a warm welcome, too bad! Now I lunch on your head! 
Yeah, I wanted to hear the mini boss theme in the OG sound style. Let's see. So let's see. First, I think I'll give this guy a little power smash. Me, wolf. Hey, ow, you chumps are tougher than you are. But I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him! I don't know why he kind of sounds like a toad. I, I just want to do a creepy high pitch sound voice. Ha ha. Let's see. Hmm. Let's ever tell the golden fuzzy. It's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, those are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Won't suck up your HP, that's nice. It hides down here, I suppose. I could have gone better, but at least I blocked one. Alright, let's see. I'll have Goombella title the Horde just so I don't miss it. Fuzzy Horde, look at them all. What a mob scene. The fuzz is a buzz. That's usually only said when cops are in the area. Is there not to freak out? Yep. Yeah, I think that's fair. So yeah, let's take him down right now. Let's see, might as well use one of these mini fire flowers we have. Dude, you just talk about wet fuzzy. Imagine how they they smell wet and burned. Where are you heading, dude? Oh, he helped me. Thank you, my friend. Don't worry, Goombella. I'll finish him off for us. Great work, Mario. And Goombella, of course. Alright. Are we racking up star points again? You got me! Now they're heading this way. That's disturbing. Oh, well. We got what we came for, so let's head on out, shall we? Now it's just time for a little round of backtracking back to the village. I think I'll leave Nostalgic Tunes on for a little while since nothing new unique's coming up for a little more. Sounds like you got an email, Mario. Should check it out. Press plus to open up your email. You can also check your email under Mailbox SP in the menu if you want. Some folks just like menus, you know. <laughs> I think you could only go through the menu in the original game. Hello, Mario. Working hard? Professor Frankly here in eForm. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this one while you're on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that, so I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Professor Franklin. Excellent. And no sense in using that block right now. Let's just head on back. I might, I might skip some of these enemies since I've already fought all these guys, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take this guy out and then whoever else gets in my way specifically. Yep. 
You know what, I'll probably just edit this out. I don't know. I don't see the sense in showing you every little detail of this run. So yeah, I'll probably edit this out and we'll just meet back in town.